Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So, in between episodes, um, I cleaned up the land a bit more. I think it was in between episodes. I planted a few more ender lilies, which they have fully grown finally. Because uh, you can leave the game AFK a bit, whatever, find a safe spot, let things grow. I also replaced the uh, bonsai trees with rubber tree sapling. This one's the IC2 edition. And as you can see, uh, yeah... Look at all the resin. I got more resin than I can ever deal with at this point. So that's really awesome. Uh, so this means that uh, we can easily get into IC2. And just to get these saplings, they, they usually, the, the, the most highest density I find is usually finding them in a swampy area. So I believe in this area, somewhere around in this area, I think I found them. Uh, I think this was considered a swampy area. You can see I died over here. Um, when I was looking around exploring a wee bit. The reason I died was there was this big guy. His name was Troll. <laughs> he was a big, big guy. I think he was green. And uh, yeah, he kicked my butt. So anyways, uh, that happened. So let's go ahead and right click these guys. Because this is awesome. These are uh, Ender Pearls, of course. That's eight of them. So that does a lot for us. Uh, there was an end book. I don't know uh, Ender... There was a book, and it was with the word end in it. That's all I know. But uh, you can see all the recipes anyways in here just to see all the different things. I have a feeling it's going to be probably Eye of Ender, which Eye of Ender requires uh, a bit different ingredients. Look at all the pages of materials. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah, so I'll have to look through this eventually, see if I can find it. I don't think I'll see it just randomly here. It was just a simple-looking uh, book that was green in color, so... Um, uh, yeah, it's like one of those things that it's like, uh, oh, you know what? I know what uh, mod it was from, though. Uh, it was that Syslic mod. So, here you go. There it is. So, this is the block. It requires a block of, uh, so, Ender Pearls, uh, the book, and a block of Emerald. And this here alone will give you a, a very decent teleport system. And uh, might as well go ahead and make it, you know. I mean, that's the whole point of having, you know, playing this mod and stuff. So this is a very powerful uh, feature. But, um, hey, it's a kitchen sink pack. You're going to find some very powerful things. But we'll try other things over time for fun, too. So there's your emerald. And then we're going to need a book. We should have some books. Uh, here they are. Let's say we should have some books somewhere. So we'll go ahead and put those together. And there you go. So you just you can click it, I guess, and there you go. You, you save your uh, your points here, so you can. We'll just look this way, and we'll type this one as home, and we'll go new. And all you do is you right click it, and you teleport home. There is no, there is no special anything. It's just literally a really powerful book, and you might be able to put like a soulbound enchant on it. Uh, the soulbound can be put on it. I've heard there's might be some issues with Soulbound. I don't know much on that, so uh, just be warned. Um, another feature that might change over time is that uh, my EXP stayed in my inventory when I had passed away. Let me use the the term "passed away." So uh, that was kind of interesting. I thought you know I would have lost it, but no, uh, they let you keep it. So that was that was interesting. I have to say. Uh, so I got some iron in here. I'm just you know smelting some iron. Uh, we could automate this. I probably won't bother though. Uh, I'd rather get into like machines and stuff like that for that, anyways. But what I think I will do is I'll go throw some osmium in there because we have tons of osmium now, and uh, we're using that as our generic. Basically, osmium is for or, or, or base tools and stuff like that. Uh, also, I made a new cast here. This cast here is uh, a sharpening kit, and I pour osmium in the sharpening kit, and uh, you make it through here, of course, the sharpening kit, so the, the you know the pattern and whatnot. And the sharpening kit is used to first of all, you can enhance your tool to the next level, so you could put like an obsidian on it, and it, it basically will give you. You can use a low level tool, but you can put the, a high level sharpening kit on it, and it'll just give it that oomph to be able to mine something at a higher level, but still using the uh, the head and material of something lower if I recall 
But the biggest thing is infield repair. Basically, you throw it in your crafting thing, and it takes two of the uh, recipes. So you, know, you can see it can do a full repair here, and it's pretty much that way for me anyways. I mean, it, you know, if you really, really, really want to be slightly cheap, uh, you know, you can go here, for example, and you, you'll notice that if I put this in here, yes, it repairs more than half of it-ish. But in the end, you still need two to repair it. So when it, once it once it gets to that point, anyways, you might as well just use a sharpening kit. Since so I'm at home and the sharpening can, kit can be used in the field, I'll go and use the two ingots just because that's saving me. Um, you know, using these two that I already have, but you, you get the you know the use out of it. It's, it's a pretty fancy use. Let's go ahead and get some sleep. So what I think I would like to do is make ourselves a couple things. It'll be more tinkers. There's a tinker armor mod, if you can believe that. Tinker armor? Here we go. Something like this. It's, uh, oh, no, that's part of it. Uh, there's some kind of uh, construct. Ah, here we go. Armor. Oh, God. This is the mod, I believe, here. This is a new mod, basically, uh, it's not Tinker's version, uh, Construct, let's go to the top here, Constructs Armory, okay, Constructs, and then Armory, something like that, there you go. So this mod here is all related to armor, and it actually adds all these new, uh, uh, you know, all the different parts, and there's another mod on top of all this that adds even more flavors and stuff. I don't know if it's integrated as in it's in here yet right now or if it's like completely a different name. But uh, basically it's a Tinker's Construct uh, system but for armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that makes me laugh, to be honest. It's like, oh god, yeah, like Tinker's. You know, I wouldn't say Tinker's is the most complex thing ever in the world. Um, I mean, it's easy to learn, but there's so many variations that you can do with it that it, it does get complex over time. It's like it kind of you know warps your mind. But there's an armor station, an actual armor station, if you can believe that. So that's really cool. I don't know if it'll connect to the grid. Apparently, it does. Damn. Don't know if I'll do that. I feel like I would rather have it just separate just for the fact that I just don't need the more confusion. So this is prepare and modify. And then, of course, you can use these guys, I guess, to build the armor. Ah, yeah, here they are. So you got different stencils, too. You got helmet core. Uh, so you, it's not just a helmet. You know, you don't just click helmet and it's just one piece. It's multiple pieces. So you need helmet core. Uh, there's armor plates and armor trim. So armor plates and armor trim. So this is armor plates and then there was armor trim i don't know which one that is armor trim here you go so this is your 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 base stuff which this you'd probably want to take and make right away into the metal version just because i have no i don't see why anyone would wear a wood armor uh, i mean you could wear wood armor but i feel like uh i think wood could actually self-repair over time but i feel like outside that probably doesn't have as much use as one would hope uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and do this. There you go. And then this. So if we go Osmium, here we go. So if we look at Osmium and not the Osmridium, that sounds like a badass. It says Devil Strength. That sounds actually really cool. Uh, you will see this guy, uh, you know, when you craft it has uh, a certain defense. That's Tinker's defense, though. Uh, that doesn't mean the kind of defense you're used to. Oh, that's the core, by the way. So you want to use this one. So if you hold, hover over it, it's like, look at that defense, 32, but it's really only 5.22. It's in 2.225. So let's see. Uh, iron armor for example oh uh, let's just do iron sorry uh so let's do we were looking at the helmet so the helmet is two the chest is six so let's go back to osmium here so the helmet here is five and it does the other defense plus uh if we do the chest version of it 13 and so basically it's a pretty freaking badass mother of all armors wow okay so I think I'm going to need more Osmium, honestly. Uh, so we got this done. Okay. So let's go ahead and pour some more iron. And let's get some more Osmium going in this puppy. So Osmium just seems like the, the perfect... Like the perfect 
material to start with. It's it's always powerful. I mean, mechanism in my in my books have always been a powerful, you know, over the top mod in a sense, and it kind of seems to play that way here. So okay, we got the uh, plate trim, plate trim, plate trim, plate trim. Awesome. So the the rest of them are all cores basically. So. Uh, that seems like an easy way to follow things here anyway. So uh, I made a second table. This one's just for uh, the the actual metal casts. You can't mix wooden and metal casts together, just to let you know. So let's go ahead and make each of the stencils. So here is the helmet core pattern, chest, pants, and boots. There you go. And oops, don't run away, silly. Don't run away. Okay, so we're gonna put you here. There you go. We're gonna put you here. I kind of want to like. I'm desperately wanting to shift click, but I feel like that's a bad idea because I'm assuming that would be a bit wasteful. And we'll throw all these in there. Awesome. And that chest expands. As far as I know, it expands infinitely. Uh, to give you an idea, I've never gone or tried that far. You can't use two materials. Uh, so I, I actually made accidentally two stencils of each of the. Oh, the the binding and the handle or whatever. Uh, I was just derping. Uh, and anyway, so I just want to let you know that uh, you can't stack those because I did try because I, I derped up. And uh, yeah. So this is going to be slightly annoying because you're going to have to pour this many, many times over. At least with these ones, it's going to be one each. But the rest, it's going to be it's going to be a bit more uh, tiresome. So the first one. And so it once it pours, it has to dry, right? <laughs> like I said, it's gonna take a bit. Uh, this is when you probably should consider making another casting, like so, uh, just because I think it would be worth it. And look at this, we have actually enough to do this as well. That is actually awesome. So here we go. We'll just throw this over here on this corner, and we'll put you right here. Awesome. So we got our helmet made, and so we'll leave those guys in there. So you got the the top. The top probably will take even more. And the pants. There you go. In the end, they seem pretty equal. And then we just need the boots, right? So uh, what we'll all probably do is do the boots separately, go put the stuff away, and then come back. Okay, oops, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, they automatically get pushed in there, that's cool. Okay, so we need the plate and we need the trim. Here we go. So there's your, your base of the armors. And then, of course, the one over here. So what I was thinking here is I'll go like this and I'll put you here and I'll put you here and then literally one, one. There you go. Oh, there's a... Oh, no, never mind. I can still access this. I was going to say, there's a bad thing to this, but apparently it's not so bad. What? Oh, you're fast. Oh, you're really fast compared to that one. There you go. Okay, so that's it for this one. So we got to just wait for the other one. Uh, and then we can get rid of that. This, awesome. And you can swap and replace. So, you know, in a sense, this is a backup, by the way. I think this is extra. It's probably not extra utility. F feed the beast utilities, I'm assuming. Um, you can actually find the settings somewhere. Holy hell, it's been so long. Uh, here it is. There's client settings. And it's probably under library, honestly, but I'm not really sure. Oh, actually, there's server settings. Because technically, single player is a server, right? So, eh, maybe I'm just an idiot and I'm a liar and I have no clue what I'm doing here. Oh, there's an admin panel. Oh, God, it's even worse looking. Oh, backup. Uh, show backup. There it is. Uh, but I don't know how long the backup is. But either way, it is that one, so... Uh, okay, so we're done. Uh, we can make, make our armor. And don't like I said, don't forget, who cares if you make it, you know, not the most best set of armor and it's not the most usable. Oh, yeah, probably going to have issues. Actually, no, it looks like you could build these in here. Um, because because the reason I'm saying that is because um, 
you can easily, 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 easily uh, just go ahead and upgrade uh, different, you know, parts over time anyway. So I'm like, just don't, don't, don't get yourself all excited, honestly. Just build yourself your first set of armor and then go from there over time. So look at this. This is armor is awesome. Oh, look at it. They have a, a blue bar. Oh, that is so freaking cool. So they got like a blue bar to kind of show you your uh, your stats. And there you go. So of course you'd have to repair this with Osmium. Uh, so basically you have you have stats on it. It's all the same stats. So if we go here and we go, I guess you need to take it off. Of course, we're not used to. So it has dense. So your tool lasts longer. Blah blah blah. When it has less durability, you gain additional XP once again. So I don't know what the XP would do on armor. Honestly, I feel like it wouldn't do anything. But maybe it does. Maybe it actually adds up. So maybe when I kill with this sword, I even get more XP than I ever got before. When I mine, maybe I get even more XP. That would be insane. But I don't. I don't really know. Um, I really don't know. Somebody would have to play with it, you know, go with the XP, kill something, check, you know, with the actual uh, variables and things like that. So I'll leave that to somebody else who's uh, a little bit more uh, got the free time. But uh, yeah, look at this. I look so freaking badass. I think this makes it m makes me want to do a bit of exploring, actually. Um, there is some places I wanted to check out. I should have probably not threw my food in there, but I really don't care. I organized. I made a second set of these, as you can tell. So I got this as the food and whatnot right now. Uh, so I'm thinking what I might do here is let's get some coal. And let's split the coal and let's split you guys don't really care about this at this point because we got lots i think what we'll do is we'll explore a wee bit one of these dangerous things i found underground actually uh, i know there was the the little cave crap over here but i'm actually more interested in what's under us because i found something that might actually offer some useful materials as well and so i'm just kind of interested in that i think i will bring default torches as well i know we have the mod on here for the cool you know whatnot places the torches automatically but i like to have some torches in my hand just because i think it'll offer for uh, just that little extra, you know, protection. Um, ooh, you know what? I wonder if I can make stone torches instead. Why didn't I think about this before? So you can make stone torches if you didn't know that. It's a tinkerer's thing. So here you go. And I don't know if this is going to work. But uh, you know what? Let's do another. I thought I could get a little more out of that. But there you go. I hope they offer the same idea. So if we put these in our hand... Will it light up? Yeah, I think so. It looks like it is. It's not the best thing to see, but when you you can kind of see it happen because don't forget we have fast light. Yeah, you can see it working. So awesome. So we should be pretty uh, armored up to the teeth. Not saying we're we're god or anything, but we should be pretty damn decent. Uh, okay, so let's get our food and we'll just grab these foods here. Awesome. Wait. Didn't I have, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I've had more in there and I didn't, and I'm a bit of an idiot. Anyways, it's actually in our old mining uh, tunnel. Uh, I found something really interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to find it again, but I found, uh, it seemed like some sort of complex, which is probably actually, oh, my game is going to do a big freeze here and it might take a whole minute. I have no clue what's happening at this minute. It's just, it does a big dump basically. Uh, we're going to wait for the program. Oh, it doesn't go white for you guys. It's doing the Windows going white thing here. Oh, there it goes. Um, I have no clue what happens. I think it does it once every, like, few hours, honestly. It just takes a big dump. That's what I'm calling it anyways. Actually, I think I now know why. It's probably under... Uh, it's probably related to this whole thing over here. But I kind of want to follow it if I can again. I don't know if I'll find the exact thing. But I found something else. I don't know if it's related to that or it's just a different mod. But there was a bunch of nether... Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, this is what I wanted to check out. This. This looked interesting. I don't know what this is all about, but I have a feeling I can actually uncraft this. Yes! Nether wart. There you go. So this drops... This has a whole uh, thing of nether wart. I guess this is like a lower dungeon level of this place. So that's that's really cool. So I guess you go up top for that, and I just really wanted the nether ward, honestly. Uh, so let's go back up top, and uh, 
I had saved that for you guys because I thought, oh, well, that's cool, and I wanted to show you that. So these dungeons seem to give you actual nether items that you can get uh, early without going to the nether. I mean, we're, we're packing now. We can easily go to the nether, right? But uh, I just thought this would be worthwhile. Probably next episode we'll actually visit the nether. But since we got like 10 minutes to kill, why don't we check this place out? I mean, we got lots of armor now. Our weapon is meh, but it's meh enough for me, so... Uh, you can actually put quartz on uh, your weapon and actually do more uh, damage if you didn't know that. Actually, how many quartz do I have right now? I should probably make it daytime. I mean, there's no need to have all the mobs spawning outside. It won't affect our fighting inside that place. In fact, it might make even more mobs spawn. Okay, uh, so we have quartz. Ah, oh, yeah, another quartz. Here we go. So we can add these to your weapon. They basically give them a sharpness. Uh, wrong one. Here we go. It, it puts a sharpness. So we have 7.8 attack on there. You put this on it, it can go 9 points, you know, whatever. And uh, that didn't even fill it up. Uh, oh, we still have another one. I was like, uh, I think it's a bit more than that. That uses all of our nether quartz, but once again, I'll just go and get more anyways. Oh, this is going to overdo it. Oh, we are overdoing it. Huh. I just wanted to bring it to 72. There you go. And there you go. So now it does a lot more damage than what it did before. Yeah, I don't have more. If I had a lot more quartz, I would have just done it right away, but I'm not going to do partial. So there you go. We got nether wart for farming. I want to do some farms as well. It might be like nether slash that next episode, but we'll see. But uh, either way, let's go check this out, shall we, my friends? We got our torch. And these torches should not automatically place uh, just because they're a modded torch, I'm thinking. So that other mod will still place down, but our modded torches won't. So Is the front door here? Oh, yeah, it is. Now, this has a cake in it. I thought I ate the cake. So this must be a different one, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, wow. Look, it's got some items in here. It's just leather, I think. That's cool. Uh, statistics. What's the statistics? Oh, it's probably for the dungeon that spawn. Oh, that is so clever. Look at iron bars. There's over 10,000. There's 76 chests. There's 111 spawners. There's 87 TNT. Wow, that is actually kind of cool. So I'm not going to bother uh, bringing any of this with me. Uh, highly durable, mending, unbreaking. That's a pretty uh, cool uh, weapon there. I think ours would do over uh, do that one anyways, but uh, cool. So our torches might place automatically. I don't know with this kind of floor type, but uh, we'll just go all the way down here. We looks like we're here. So looks like you kind of get multiple choices. There's cake in this room. There's definitely a spawner on that end and a wall on that end. I'm going to go with the spawner one, actually. I'm not that excited for cake anyway, so... Okay. Don't know how I feel about this. Oh. Well, you scared me. You should not exist. Wasn't there two of these? I feel like that's a bad idea. Like, I mean, there could be like a TNT or s Oh, holy crap. Oh, well, this works better in my favor now. Do, 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 do. Hey, I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, that armor is making me like invulnerable at this point, so. A strange grave dust. Coral Tombstone mod. Oh, that that's the new death thing. And I guess you can do some fun stuff. A voodoo puppet. This puppet allows you to prevent certain types of death. Oh, wow. It seems like a whole, you know, fancy thing on its own. So this is a skeleton spawner. Nothing surprise here. You got your, your stuff. There's a, there's a enchant book. I'm going to grab it. I'm not going to really care about other stuff at this point. I'll grab, uh, you know, the bones. Uh, I'll even grab the arrows, but I really don't. Oh, the string I'll grab. Honestly, the rest. Actually, flesh. I'll grab things that I like that are stackable, but I really don't care about the rest of that, to be honest. Uh, there's crops down here, which is awesome, because uh, I think I grabbed... Oops. <laughs> Torches are getting placed when I right click. Because uh, the crops are actually useful, uh, honestly, so.
You are badass with your shield, by the way. So they they still do damage to me, but uh, you know that armor is pretty decent. So here's a spider eye, and oh, they're coming from over here. I'm like, where are they coming from? Okay, so oh, look at this enchant. What is this one? Fuel the oh, on breaking. I was like, ah. Oh, that's like the worst enchant on earth. But hey, look at you're getting bones and rotten flesh, and so there's some decent little enchants. I feel like this is not meant to be gone into. Uh, so I'll get the bone string paper. You know, you know, I'm getting stuff that are kind of useful. Uh, I guess if we, oh, I still did it anyways. I want to keep some of these torches, you know. There you go. Oh, you can get yourself a shield out of this one. An apple. Might as well grab it. Potion of strength. Might be useful for something, but... There you go. I'm not going to grab all the little farms and plants. I just thought, hey, I'll grab a few, you know, while I'm here. So eventually we'll make our way downstairs. There's the downstairs. Might as well go downstairs, I mean... Or this episode will be just us, you know, in the same thing, right? So here, here's the next level. This one looks like it has actually more interest to area. We'll probably die. I feel like this is death coming up, but let's see. Doesn't seem right in any way possible. Ooh. There's even chests just, just randomly on walls, even. Doesn't this seem mysterious in some weird way? I guess it's just for fun, right? <laughs> oh, here you go. You can put music in it. I wonder if the music always gens in that chest, like it's actually written that way. That would be actually adorable. Oh, there's our spider. Might still spawn them behind walls and things like that. Oh, look at that ravine. That's awesome. Oh, there's that chest I told you. It's that mod. Basically, it might be a creature or it might be a legit chest. Happy music. Ah. My sword just leveled up, which is awesome. Ow. Oh. oh, there's another one. You're gonna probably find this place with a little bit of a maze to get right to the bottom fast but I don't see any kind of stairs there so let's go this way oh I think I found the stairs on this side so if our goal is to get downstairs a little faster here we go so you kind of you're going kind of going through all the levels Looks like the stairs are right there, but let's go around anyways. That looks kind of cool. Floor's all broken up, so who knows. But it does look like the stairs are over here, so if we're going to follow the pattern we're trying to do right now, we'll go this way. Now, you'll probably get more and more hostile in many ways the, the further you go down, so keep that in mind, right? But, uh, oh, I hear Enderman. I'm pretty sure, in fact, that Enderman... Uh, there's like uh, from what I heard, there's an Enderman spawner, so that's kind of cool. That 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 has value just on its own. Could kill Enderman all day long. Oh, those are spiders, the ones I don't want to fight. I think I'll just go this way today. Poison spiders, not my favorite thing. Oh, this actually takes you to like the Nether section. It looks like. Oh, that is so cool. I'm probably not putting enough light on those, but look how cool this is down here. 
And it looked like the loot was improving the further we were going down too, right? So, okay, let's keep going down. We're gonna we're gonna be running over time, but it's not like we're, you know we have a purpose set. You know, I try to do about thirty minutes of episode, but if we go over, we go over. We're gonna probably have company that'll follow us down, unfortunately. But honestly, the one that's not trying to kill me is this side so far, so. So you, you got diamond axe, which you could probably take the diamond axe and craft it into or remove the components later on. Probably not worth it, but you can see how, you know, things are getting valuable. That skull is kind of creepy. Look at the spawners here. The pro they're probably not spawning because there's probably just so much stuff in the area already. I wonder if we triggered something. I s oh. I feel like that guy- oh! He had something on his feet and I think that's that grave mod because he dropped the powder again. Ow. They're all dropping their damn shields. It's like, I don't need a hundred shields. Okay, let's get back in here. So if we're gonna stop these guys, we're gonna have to light up. Oh my goodness. I was gonna say we have to light up. Oh, there's diamond blocks. Oh god. If we don't light things up properly first, we're gonna die. Going in all cowboy does not seem like a proper option. Excuse me, sir. There you go. So, guys, just gotta light you up. Looks like this is gonna be blocked anyways from here for now. There you go. And then there might be a one here. No. Oh! Where are you guys coming? Are you still spawning because of the... I guess probably because of the lack of light. Yeah, he just spawned there. If you really want to, you know, do a good job, you probably should break the... Um, break the spawner, sadly. It's something I didn't want to do, but I feel like it's the only thing you can do. So my inventory is full of junk, some stuff I don't want, but I think in the end it'll be more like... Well, we'll we'll keep them for now, and then we'll just throw them out. Literally, I'm not gonna keep a b bunch of armors, but yeah, it seems like if you're gonna do this because of the amount of spawners and just not easy to cover them, it's probably just easier to break them. And there might be more through walls and hidden. Like there might be more like under the ground, for example, because uh, I don't think spawners, for example, have to have like. Look at this guy. Like, where did he come from, right? Like, we, we got all the spawners. He just spawned, so... There's definitely spawners, like, say, in the walls and things like that, too. Anyways, what's in this chest? Uh, oh, look at this. We got more pork chops, some potions, golden carrot, if you want. Um... And then there, you know, you got even actual gold blocks, which... Or diamond blocks, which... Hell, that's... That's worth it. Uh, there's soul sand you're gonna want. That was a bad idea in so many ways. You're gonna want the soul sand. Cause that'll, that, that'll let you put the, uh, I'll let you plant, uh, some of the stuff on there, so. Pretty cool, though. That's an actual pig man. I could get deadly. No chest in this room. Oh, there's a little upstairs. Oh, there might be something in the middle of this, actually. I don't know. Looks hell of interesting, you know, when you see this. I can get obsidian here, I guess. I'll need this for the nether anyway, so god. I was gonna, like, dodge this in another way, and instead I got myself hurt. Anyways, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Oh, crap. Hello. 
Yeah, so they definitely seem to have some spawners and walls, because everything keeps spawning somewhere, right? So... <laughs> awesome. Oh. Wait, are they actually hopping over the... There's a mod that lets us hop over fences, but it must work for mobs too. Oh no, these are iron bars. Sorry, they, they're not fences, so... I saw a chest up here. Oh, there was a bat that got stuck there. I gotta break the roof. Oh, look at that. Ender pearls. Bones. Okay, so I will, uh, I might stay around a wee bit just to see if I can get some other loots and stuff, but I think that was a, a good little episode here. It was fun just to explore this place and check it out. Definitely worth raiding it, that's for sure. Uh, I really can't argue against it, so, uh, oh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Goodbye.